Well, in our bill that we just passed in the legislature, House Bill 574, we made a number of improvements. We expanded in-person voting days. Uh, we banned ballot harvesting. Uh, and one of the changes that we've made that is optional, uh, you don't have to do it, you can if you choose at the local level, uh, is that you can consolidate some of your voting locations. Uh, what we found last year by having locations that were consolidated where anyone in the county could vote, you could vote at your precinct or you could vote downtown, uh, is it saved money because you could get more, more voters in and out faster, shorter lines, but with fewer machines and fewer poll workers. What this bill does in part is it gives you, again, the, the decision. It's a local decision. If you want to have a centralized location, then you can have fewer machines and fewer poll workers needed, but still get people in and out faster. Since 1891, that's when we wrote our election code that I inherited. In 1891, people were still taking a horse and buggy to go vote. <laughs> and there were no electronic machines because there was no electricity. That's how old our election code was. Uh, with this bill, to me, it was important to help people go vote in person. That's the gold standard is in-person voting, but we should have more of it. We'll actually have less absentee voting now and more in-person voting because there's more days to go vote. So we have three days of early voting, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before Election Day. I'd say especially that Saturday is a game changer for working people. I grew up in a blue-collar family in McCracken County. My folks had trouble getting off work to go vote. Now they can vote on a Saturday. House Bill 574 should save taxpayers in Crittenden County about $60,000 in the cost of voting machines that the county is budgeting for for next year. That savings will come in a reduction in the number of machines needed because we will be able to consolidate voting precincts. That's not going to remove accessibility for anyone when we consolidate. We will have centralized voting places in the county and one voting center in the center of the county in Marion where anybody in the county can vote. This is all contingent upon State Board of Elections. There's no good reason that you ought to have just one day to go exercise your rights. It should be much more expansive than that. And hopefully it'll be done at no cost to the counties because we've saved money in other respects.